Hello everyone, welcome back. Let's create another list page for teachers table. This is my teacher table and these are the fields. And here in under page, I click on new and then right click, choose new file, give a file name, teacher.pagelist.al. So this is my list page and this is my table so based on this teacher table i will create my list page very quickly so again i will use a snippet t page if you scroll up or down and choose a page type of list this will automatically inserted everything for us so here first give id then name to my list hit tab to move to another area and here my source table name teacher and in repeater add fields to the layout again id field here you can see record is important because in future this warning become my error application area to all to make this field available to the list page another field is name then application area to all then another field is work phone number application area to all another field is personal mobile phone number application area equal to all so here when you hover over this warning it will say is basically in future it will become an error to resolve this use record dot so next field is website url application area equal to all Another field is email, if it's not important then you can ignore some of the fields while creating a pages but in my case for now I want all the fields to be visible on the list page so i added all the fields so this is okay all the fields are added this is the action where i can define all my actions i will do it in later session so just comment it save hit f5 to deploy all my changes or publish my changes to the server so you, as you can see here this is this app extension is authenticating and then authenticated with this user id and then you can see it's targeting dynamic 365 business central and sending request to sandbox development solution and after that it is written my app name the breather class app and the version dot app has been published to the server it will take few more second to open a startup object page number 22 that is customer list in the browser so it's open the customer list now look for my teacher table so teacher list this is the list here we are able to edit this list or click on new to create a new entry so the table uh, teacher name is the braze ajaz phone number is one two one two one two one two one two personal phone number nine eight nine seven five this is and url is https colon www.thebrazeajaz.com email id is me at thebrazeajaz.com and this is active choose edit list again to make it in view mode and if you want to check how you can see 
this record in a table then you can directly visit to this url by passing the query string table equal to 50101 so you can see my entry is created in this table and also stored some other meta information so this is how you can create a list page for your extension i hope understand how easy it is in next video i will create the list page using az al wizard that's it for this video thank you for watching